Hello, you amazing person, welcome on the Manic Gaming Guy, and today we're going to be taking a look at another way to make a custom map in DeemNG.Drive. Uh, you may have not seen it, or you may have seen it, I made a quick video, it took me about five minutes to start up DeemNG and get a custom map in my own name, but we're going to be doing it a different way this time. The last one involved us doing a lot of um, in certain assets, like these ones you see on my desktop now. And uh, it's a bit of a faffle, which we still will have to do some of that. But there's a way to get a few more extra things and get started with by doing the awkward bits first. So what you want to do is I like to just have a random folder, call it whatever you want. It's on my desktop. This way I like to do some of my work. I also will have the levels ready. In fact, this is the level we're going to be copying. It's called Template Tech. Uh, last time we started with template, but this time we want to start with a few extra things to play with and that's going to be the other level here. We're also going to need notepad plus pos or any other coding software up to you if you've already got some. But it's a free software so I like to just throw that one out there. So first of all, we're going to copy, make sure you don't move it, you want to copy the tech file over. And then we're going to... Oh, you want zip as well. Some sort of zip thing. Seven zips, the one I use. Um, feel free to go use that one as well. It is also free. We're going to extract the files here. Amazing. We can now delete this file. And open up this levels. This one, you're going to rename it to whatever your new map's going to be called. Um... This one's going to be called Manic Map. There we go. And also, I recommend just copying that quickly. Control Z. And then in here, don't touch this one. Don't need to touch this one. I'm pretty sure we don't touch that one. No. Info. So where your title is, change that to your title of your map. There's a few things missing here, like preview photo and things. You can... I'm pretty sure go into one of these other folders and you'll see we've got this one. No, we don't need that one. Or do we? No, we don't need that one. That's um, another terrain, but this one's already got a terrain, I'm pretty sure, built into it. So you can take the template, make sure you copy it over. Uh, template preview. That would be called your whatever your map name preview is where's the info oh i've not oh what have i done here have i opened up several of these no i just uh redo that again obviously don't forget to save your work people that's obviously what i forgot to do uh yeah so take that preview view and then we click in this info there's a little bit of code i think yeah so this is actually code copy what yours doesn't have you don't need the biome roads suitable for features. You don't need that size preview preview. Just copy that one here. Copy that little bit of code. And then throw that in here. You could be doing this in Notepad++, but this is a bit of a quicker way for doing this city stuff. And then, oh my God, undo that. And then you want to... Could have just typed it in. I'm just going to paste over this template put my name in there and then save that hopefully now we'll see our preview in bmng it was missing when i did this before so hopefully that fixes it not guaranteed but it might do hopefully it does so we don't need that anymore you can go we've got loads of these open and don't save because i've already done some bits to it in a different folder double check yeah that's all works. it should be manic map so now don't need forest don't need main Forest is um, some of your brushing tools and things. So luckily we got that. We don't have that in the other one ready for us. Don't need to touch water terrain. We're going to right click on this, open with notepad. And then continue on to the other folders. Skies, don't need to touch that. Forest, don't need to touch that. Road, that's got one. So open that in notepad. And then shapes. Ground covers go have one. Right click, open up your notepad or whatever 
thing you're using misc i don't think it does oh it does have one so yeah just open that notepad trees we have these all individually but it's fine shouldn't take too long because the way we're doing it was that's why i like to use um the notepad plus plus because it makes things a bit quicker when it comes to doing this i'm pretty sure this is the last one but we will just quickly look over them all done all them done all them that doesn't need to be touched does it no that's something that gets built in later when you start making maps so now we're in all this we've got to look for the directory line which is this we've got highlight level slash and the template tech we're going to hit the replace button up here and we're going to put down wait, after level slash your new map name and then we're going to place all in open documents so that's all of these open documents place all of them we place 233 marvelous so now we're just going to go through see this one says east coast art shape we're just going to change that just to be on the safe side do all that that's 667 of those done that says what it's meant to say yeah those directories of cool this directory i guess can be changed yeah that do replace all if that fails it's i think what that's doing it's sending it over to a different map to look for files which they might update in the future which means then you would have to change the code again if we do this and then we just put things in buildings that record that and take it from the original grid map it will just show up hopefully that way remember to save your files okay so we're done with that i'm just going to minimize it rather than close it all so all your files now are registered make sure skies is fine always double check your work oh terrain did we do this one yeah we did terrain that's fine yeah so we're good we are now out sorry for that i'll just whack my microphone so now you want to go to your mod folder which is in your beaming g oh, i didn't say where to you find your levels your levels is in your steam folder go to steam then you go to steam apps find beaming drive then you go to common or that might be the other way around and then you go to content and levels and then you find your levels and all that stuff um or just go back in the video and look at this directory up here so now go to mods and we are going to go back check your names are still right this is our last folder we're going to zip this file now add to archive and then we're just going to change the levels to our map name and then hit ok and now zip it down for us you can delete this level one afterwards or just keep it as backup for some editing or some future map do this thing now, technically you can do this to any of the maps but the problem with doing it with like the Italy one and things like that is they've got a lot of things you'd have to delete you don't need so only copy the things that I guess we've just put into this map any other sort of file that pops up like a decal or a road file it might just be like mapping out the original files from the map and you don't need those because you're making your own so now this map this map yeah this map is sipped and in our beamng files so now go open beamng and hopefully have it work probably have to unpack it first but we'll see and hooray <coughs> it looks like it's loaded and it's also taking into consideration our template preview that we did we'll talk about how to change that another day how to make your picture different but for now who are it's shown up last time it's shown up like this with a black screen uh this time it's shown up with template preview i've had to click on the debug which i think is also in the coding but last time i turned that code to false or true or whatever it just didn't show up like this one does so um i'll work that out let's open the map eh? and here it is we have and here it is um the new map now you can see me mucking about in previous adventures this lot shouldn't really be here it should be flat so what i did is i went into world editor and i clicked on my terrain 
And I can look at the terrain file, and it does look like it's loaded up the terrain file from a different map. So, yeah, it's gone to the wrong file. So we need to change this. So it opens up the terrain that we want in our file. So if I'm right, go back, manic map. Was it this one? No, this one, this one above it. Open. Hey, there we go. Save that. Now it's going to the right directory. I'm not sure why it was doing that, but um, it's fixed anyway. So keep that in mind. So that's it. Your map's ready to go. Now, last time you didn't have much to play with. The forestry wasn't working or anything like that. But now look, click on brushes. We got all sorts. We got rock. We got some concrete. We got some mud. And we got some gravel. We got some other gravel. We got some more rock. We got some. We don't know why we want grid. We got some sand. Look at all this. We got some rocky dirt. We got some. Well, we already got grass. We got some forest. Forest is a good one to be using. And obviously, we got our asphalt. The only one that's missing is ground material. So normally, you like asphalt's great, but it can be tricky to get it to line up to your decals, which we do have decals, by the way. Do, do, do. So, yeah, we might still have to do some... Some thinking there. Because normally decals is your road, not the paintbrush. It does look quite a bit more realistic. I don't know. We'll have a think. It's up to your artistic mind how you want to do this in the end of the day. But there you go, it's all working. You got trees, the forestry brush is working. <clears throat> and yeah, down here you got all your So you're not over bombed wild with buildings either or any random things like that that are made for other maps. You're just the stuff that gets you going. So you got roads, oh it's the shapes, there we go, shapes. Got a little bit of ground cover as you see, which is very nice. And we got a few trees to get us going. These are my favourite trees so far. These tend to look pretty good. I don't know why they're so white. I don't know what that's all about. Like it's Christmas or something. It'd be nice to change the colour on those. That might be something I have to do in a later video, obviously. But there you go. Hopefully you've now got your new map. Don't forget to save it and do what you want with it. And enjoy yourselves. I'll see you in the next video, hopefully, where we start teaching you how to actually use some of the other buttons that are around. Now that you can create your own map very easily and very quickly I've been the Manic Gaming Guy you've been an amazing person hopefully I'll see you around on the next one if this video has helped you out it might be nice if you hit that like button but from now I'll see you around keep it real, stay safe and share that love bye bye